Hey guys and welcome back. Um, so today a quick video update on my Atamoyas about a month after the pruning process. Um, so right now it's the end of April here in SoCal and as you can see I have a bunch of new growth and it looks like I'm getting, getting a new branch at every single leaf node. Uh, so yes look at that. A lot of new growth. Very very healthy tree so this is my um, African pride and so let's take a look at one of these uh, branches uh, here um, so as you can see here um, I'm have uh, I have flowers coming out so usually whenever there is a new branch coming out there's always a, a flower that comes along with it so here's one uh, here's another one. Some of these uh, new growth are still a little bit too young, so you don't see flowers on them. Um, but usually there's always a flower that comes along with a new, uh, a new growth. So let's look, at, uh, let's look at this branch right here. So here, um, the, um, the, the idea behind this um, pruning is so that I could set a fruit right at the end of this branch right here. And here I have three new growth and as you can see this growth here has a flowers already uh, these two here will set uh, the flowers will come out as well later um, but I can pollinate this one this one or this one and keep that fruit um, but for this uh, but ideally what you would want to do is to pollinate all three of them uh, because sometimes at the moyas um, depending on what the pollen is like the fruit may be deformed. So if you have seen an Atamoyas before, the, you know, you've seen deformed Atamoyas fruits, right? And usually those fruits, they don't uh, grow to its full potential. So they tend to stay small and deform and it doesn't look good. So if that's the case, then you would want to, you know, if one of these three right here is the case of uh, a deformed fruit, then I would abort that one and keep the other one or keep the other two, you know, depend, depending on how good looking they are, you know, the more, uh, the more good looking they are, the bigger the fruit is going to be, really. So, so, so that is the idea behind, uh, behind this cut right here to, to set a fruit or two at the end of this branch. So this is my uh, African pride. And uh, throughout the growing season, so these, uh, are, you know, you, you don't want to keep all of these branches. So ideally, you would thin them over the growing season. Um, but don't thin them quite just yet, uh, right away, because you want to wait until all of these flowers here actually, you know, uh, get to the point where it can, you know, where, where it will bloom to, to, to give you pollen. So you can, so you can use um, that pollen to pollinate your other flowers, um, the ones that you want to get pollinated. And as you know, um, uh, Atamoyas flowers, they are both male and female. So you get, you have to get the timing right um, to get, uh, uh, to, for you to be able to, to pollinate the one that you want. Uh, and you, and, and able to do that, you need a lot of flowers so that, you know, so that, you know, at least one of them will match up perfectly when you have pollen and one is uh, uh, a female at that uh, at that point in time to get pollinated. Um, so here, this is my Gaffner. Um, uh, this one is uh, is still young, but as you can see here, there is a flower coming out uh, uh, with that new growth. So nice and healthy trees. So this is the end of April here in uh, SoCal. Um, let's go take a look um, at my Lindstrom next here. So this is my Lindstrom. As you can see, the, this one is is a lot bigger. The trunk is um, is a lot bigger than the other two trees. Um, so as you can see, it it's growing out a lot quicker and stronger than the other tree. Um, so here. This one is a branch coming out, and as you can see, I have a flower right here. So usually, new branch, new flower, and as this branch uh, grows, there will be flowers coming out here, here as well. Um, 
So you have a lot of chances to set fruit. So here's another example, branch, flower, branch, flower. This one, oh, there's a flower right there. So, so these guys here, I will probably not keep. Uh, as, you know, as the season goes on, I will use the flowers for, for pollen and then just thin it out when I need to thin it out. Yep, so this is my Lindstrom right here. Beautiful and healthy tree. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Just uh, want to give you guys a quick update on what my Atomoyas uh, look like at the moment. And then uh, for the next video, will most likely be a pollination, hand pollinating uh, video. Well, if you like the content, um, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with me in my garden, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a good day.